Right now we're going to go over the date worksheet on the calculator. This is the worksheet to calculate the days between dates. So you're going to hit the second button. Then you're going to hit date. So that's where the number one is, date. You're going to have date one, date two, your days between dates. And then here you can set your actual dates or your 360 dates. So you're gonna hit second, enter. That's for your 360, second, enter. I'm gonna stick with the actual dates. So let's go back to date one. So we're gonna start with September 1st and we're gonna see how many dates between December 1st or excuse me, September 1st and September 5th, 2019. So I'm currently using the month, day, year format. That you can change in the dates settings. Um, there's another video for that. So date one, I'm gonna enter 9.01.19 as my first date. My second date is gonna be September 5th, so that's gonna be 9. Dot zero five nineteen, enter. That's my second date. And then go to your date dates between days. And then you're going to hit compute. And that tells you how many dates from the first to the fifth. So it's actually counting the fifth. So if you go, if you look at the, if you look at the um, the calendar here, you got the first, and you count four days the second, third, fourth, and fifth, the fourth day being the fifth. So now let's say you want to calculate today's the first and you wanna calculate, say your mortgage is due on the 15th. So, okay, how many dates, how many days do I have until the 15th? So you're gonna hit nine, 15, 19, enter. So you got your first day, it's September 1st, first mortgage date, well, this more, next mortgage date says the 15th, and now you're gonna hit compute. And so you have 14 days between the first, from the first to the 15th. Now you can actually calculate from the first by using the dates. So we're gonna start with September 1st, we're not gonna touch the date two, and we're gonna go I don't know, we'll go 20 days. So 20 dates from the first, so you hit 20, enter. And now we still have the first, we have 20, and now we're gonna see how many dates from there. So from September 1st, 10, 20 days from September 1st, it'll give us September 21st. Now it actually does reverse date calculations as well. So we'll stick with September 21st and we're gonna go back 10 days. So we're gonna hit 10 and enter. And now you can go back to date one. So we're gonna go 10 days back from the 21st, it's 10 days. Now going back to date one, I'm gonna compute that and now that's going back to the 11th of September. So you can calculate going forward, the dates till the next date, or backwards, the amount of dates. And the actual dates and the 360 dates will be used when you're doing your financial calculations. So pay attention to that when you're reading your word problems, because that may make, that will make a big difference depending on which one you're going to be using. I'm only using the month of September as an example just to make it simpler and shorter for you to understand that concept from the dates, from one day to the next, rather than going out 10 years or five years, which can become a little abstract. So you can practice using a month or two so that you can actually be able to count them out to better understand how that process works in the calculator. So when you actually do your word problems and your calculations, you can better understand how that actually works.